Okay, let's discuss about the functions. Functions are a block of code with a particular name. Let's go ahead and then uh, declare a function, f1. And anything between these two flower brackets gets executed whenever we call f1. Function will have in f1. This is the function. All it does is prints this. And then let's go ahead and call f1. So when we call f1, the program goes to this function, does everything that's in here, and then comes back. So let's go ahead and then execute that. So it says f1. We can call it more than once, like so. Execute it. We call three times, it does three times. So we can have functions, more than one function. Of course, I'm calling, going to call this as f2, in f2, and I call f2. So I'm calling f1 first and then f2. Execute it. I get f1 and f2. Let me go ahead and then remove this. We can pass parameter to functions. Let's go ahead and then uh, do that. Int param and then I print param. And here when I'm calling, I have to pass a parameter which is of type integer. So here I'm calling f1 with parameter one and we are printing it here. So it printed one. Let's go ahead and then call uh, f1 with say another parameter another value, three, it prints three. Let's go ahead and then write a function which returns a value, it can even return the value. For example, when it returns a value instead of void, we say int. So here we'll just return param. Whatever we pass, we'll get it back. So I can say here, can declare a variable called say return value so I pass 3 I, I get it back 3 or I can always multiply this by say some number like 9 so I pass 3 the value goes into this as 3 and then it multiplies it by nine and the return value, I'm storing it in the ret value and printing it here. <laughs> so let's write a, some useful function, something like a times table. So I will declare a times table, print times table. I'll pass a parameter. Instead of returning, I'll just print everything here itself system.out.println and I print uh, uh, param multiplied by say and I'll call this so all it does is it prints one one time so I want to do it 1 through 10 but every time multiply by 1 through 10 to do that we know that we can use loops so for that I say for loop in i equals start from 1 i less than or equal to 10 i plus plus execute it so I'm still printing the parameter so I'll go ahead and then multiply with i so now it should print two, four, six, eight. So if I want times table for three, voila, I get it. Five, I get it. I want five and say 25, I get that. I just execute that. First it will print five until 50 and then it starts with 25 table, 25, 50, 75. So that's the function.